Hello everyone, this is Snoopy Olic and it's been more than a year now that I kept this instrument and play this and um, of course I'm not a professional or anything and I'm just a, a hobbyist of the liar so I I got a request and question about how to play liar from time to time still I thought maybe this is not my area to uh, do it because I'm not professional still I don't know if you're a beginner and you have no whatsoever idea like I did when I first started to play this maybe I can help you explaining how to play liar so I thought I'm going to make a video about it uh, well it's actually very simple it is not that hard. First, you need the instrument, as you can uh, imagine. And if you have your lyre, um, before you play anything, you have to consider, because uh, it has only like 10 strings, right? So it means uh, it has a limited uh, note to play, only 10. So first, you want to find out if your song that you're going to play is... Uh, within the 10 notes and then the secondly what you have to do is if you find out the note then it means you have to uh, adjust these uh, strings into the right chord right and then the we call it tuning tuning a liar and i actually made a video about tuning liar so i'm gonna uh, put the card somewhere up here so you if you want to check it out you can do it but if i explain it really really briefly what you have to do is uh, you find out your note and then uh you if you buy the liar then you might have this with you comes with you and then um if you screw you put this pick to here and you screw it clockwise then the sound will go higher and then if you screw it uh, unclockwise un then it goes lower that is the basic of tuning liar so if you yeah I made a all video all about it so check it out if you want to find out more detail and um, when it is tuned then it means you are ready to play first you want to decide what to use to play for example it seems like there are people who use the pick to play the lyre and if you play it for example it sounds like this I prefer to use my finger and if you want to use your finger so first you have to grab your lyre because I'm a right handed I'm going to use my right hand to play this string so you have to grab a lyre with your left hand and place your thumb to here and just grab it naturally then that's uh, already and then place it in whichever your comfortable position you can just uh, put it in on your lap like this or somebody do goes like this too but for me i, I just uh, normally put it on my lap or I have a if I have somewhere to lean on like this I do it like this as well so that is uh, whichever way that you feel comfortable you just do it your way and then the, to play you need your fingers right you have to use your fingers and I normally use these four fingers, thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. These four, I use them to play. 
to use the thumb, you have to put your thumb to the string like this and go like this. So it's like uh, placing this thumb the side way here, the here, and again like this. For the index finger and other three, you is similar. They you put this side to the string like this and goes like this and right so it goes like something like this so if you play once and touch it you quickly play and Touch and close. Quickly touch and close. Something like this. And the same goes like this. And so if you just use your fingers in this movement, like. Right? the one song for example twinkle twinkle little star it starts with C C F F A A F right so that is like from here to here so that's why I start with middle finger so that I can go like Right? And then for the next frame, like F, F, E, E, D, D, C, right? So it's like four. That's why I start this with thumb. So yeah, that's uh, you have to think which is matching and how the flow, the song flows goes and decide which finger you are going to play. Yeah, I think this is basic. So again, once again, if you use thumb, it plays like this and goes like this. Index plays like this and middle, same. Ring finger, same. I think this is pretty much all you have to remember. And about the using these four fingers and having these strings as a group, like I did for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and use your fingers in like, I start with this and then go slice it and like that. You don't have to remember all this actually. It's up to you. You can use whichever finger you want as you play goes better. There is no certain way to decide it or matching whatsoever. I don't know, maybe for the person who wants to play this professionally and stuff, maybe that is very important for as a person like me, just do this as a hobby. Who cares, right? <laughs> if you play it right, and it 
sounds like that song. I think that'll do. So, uh, if you were considering getting this instrument and but hesitating because instrument is something special and only professional can play, uh, don't think that way. It is not for only professional. And I am telling you that I am not professional and okay, maybe I'm not playing perfectly, but I'm very happy. And it is really, really good for your uh, joyful life. I, uh, I can tell you this liar added a uh, really, really good spice in my life. So I, I love this. I think uh, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then everyone, happy liar life. Bye bye.